I am late as hell to this reaction. And Tom looks like he wants to whoop my ass for it. That's like I'm looking at somebody across the octagon. They're about to just smash my face. And we got Tom McDonald, God mode. Yes, the mic is also right in front of my face, too. I have comments about this mic, but I'll save it because it's not PG. Do me a favor. Go like, go subscribe. Should love the Tom McDonald. That is the most important part of this video. Nobody has told me anything all day. Thank you, everybody, for not ruining anything for me. Granted, I haven't really checked my IG because I've been super busy. But I am back in action. Show love to you original. This is an eight-minute song? Oh, yes. Let's go. It's called God Mode as well. Dude, when I seen him post the video with the black contacts, I was like, oh, that's it. That's it. When I was introduced to Tom McDonald's music, that's how I met Tom. Was through the was when he was in that phase, or that's what you guys had me checking out. It was 2021, so I don't know if that was his phase or that was what was going on. But dude, every song, best best rapper ever. I mean, you guys were hitting me with bangers. Then you hit me with like sober and had me damn near crying over here. All right, let's jump into this. Show love to Tom McDonald. Let's go. I'd love to have you too. Like, subscribe. I've been hearing that they think my political music is boring. Tell them I'm sorry. I've been rapping about things that I feel are important. I can talk about how rich I am, all these little rappers that I'm bigger than. I could show you the impact addiction had, how the liquor turned me to a different man. I'm not the kid who was visiting Disneyland. I'm not a perfect Christian, have a sinner's past. But I sobered up, prescriptions hit the trash. Now I'm sitting back with 50 billboard plaques, $20 million. Now I'm sitting back with 50 billboard plaques. You could talk all that shit you want about me and my career. But guess what? The accolades stack up. A sinner's past, but I sobered up. Prescriptions hit the trash. Now I'm sitting back with 50 billboard plaques, 20 million dollars, and a million fans. Middle fingers flipping, I can't flip them back. I'm so independent, so they get the message. I've been spitting facts. I'm not a fiction fan. I am the truth. I am the goat. I am the proof. You can reach every one of your goals. You can be too drunk, way too high, but it's never too late to have hope. I am the one. I'm gonna okay, preach. Man. You can reach every one of your dreams. You can be up against the whole entire world, and you can beat them if you just believe. They've been saying I'm Illuminati and I'm going to hell. They're desperately searching for any excuse to explain why I've done what they can't do themselves. The only way they can make sense of my famous claim, I worship Satan and labels of health. I don't have an advantage. It's natural talent. Your ego is damaged. Admit that you failed. I remember back when I was the only political rapper. What the hell happened? All of a sudden, everyone who never gave a damn got political and started rapping. Tra Thank you. Thank you. I kept on saying this. I said, dude, people want to complain about him bringing up politics yet they want to rap about politics so you want to tell this man he can't rap about politics but then you want to go rap about politics there's a lot of stuff that i need to break down here and i was going to say i'd listen to it you know what i'm going to listen to it one way through i'm going to come back and break it down it's gonna be a long video there's a lot of stuff to address here because he is answering everyone who's been talking shit Get on that fuck shit, Tom. Let's go. What the hell happened? All of a sudden, everyone who never gave a damn got political and started rapping. Tragic. I should be wow. better. Man, I created the genre. They practically jacked it. Acting like they're in the conversation. They ain't nowhere near it on a different planet. This is not YouTube. This is upper echelon. President of Sony on my telephone. I get what I want, how I want, when I want, until the day that I'm dead and gone. The internet in love with beef. They want rappers at war. But I don't care who's coming at me. I swore that I wouldn't do this no more. The last time I battled the man that I trampled, lost his career, and then had a divorce. That wasn't fair. Homie got torched. I feel the weight like I'm carrying around a corpse. Still no deal, still no team, still just little old me. Still making fun of the whole industry. Still rap on my own beats. I'm the only multimillionaire in my family tree. I keep hearing rumors that my parents rich and that's how I got in the lead. That's a big L-I-E. If you want to know the truth, I guess. I can show you why I move like this. Let me take you back into my head. Tell you about the movie I live. For an alcoholic, nothing in my wallet. Every doctor said that I was depressed. Should be in a coffin or inside a cardboard. Box and addicted to meth. I was sleeping on my best friend couch. I was dreaming of a West End house. We was living in the basement, sweet east side, praying we get out. Motorcycles on the front lawn, bunch of crackheads in the alley. Do I've had chills for the past 30 seconds? Zoom, I can't feel my body. Open up my bedroom window and tell them there's empty bottles they can have. Cops at the door. I couldn't sleep, making up noodles to eat for a week. I couldn't stomach the food I was making if I was in high school. I always had weed. Leaving the crib and the neighbors are tripping. I flip them the bird. I ain't stopping to talk. They leaving us notes on the passenger window because we always park in the whip and they spot. 10 in the morning, we sipping on 40s and taking the Honda Civic up the block. Looking for one of my homies who living on the street because he got addicted to rocks. Waiting in line to 
church, they're giving out food. I would pull up every second Sunday, get some hard boiled eggs and juice. That was the move. I was a broke boy, then I blew up. I was suicidal, yeah, the mood sucked. Now I've been rich, I done made hits, I've been praying, I don't screw it up. And now that I've blown. I know damn well you did a few push ups too before that scene. Looking over here like Bane. Mood sucked, now I've been rich, I done made hits, I've been praying, I don't screw it up. And now that I've blown up, they're mad that I've grown up. They missing my old stuff. They say my political music's all sounding the same and the flow suck. I'm never gonna be the old Tom or recapture the magic of old songs. I don't know, Tom. You the goat, Tom. Give me what I want or I will go, Tom. Shut up! Not the guy that you fell in love with back when I was young and dumb Always getting drunk, taking hella drugs Living in the ghetto, no food for a month Couldn't pay the power bill, the shower filled with towels Mold and hella bugs That was the old time, that was broke time Stop saying you miss who I was Now you can give me all the Gucci, give me all the Louis Give me everything I want at once Give me Lamborghinis, give me all my flowers Give you everything I have just to be loved Now they call me racist and they say I'm canceled But I guarantee you that there will be blood I ain't going nowhere, I ain't stopping nothing I'ma really go there, I don't give a f I'm the best thing going right now Dude, he's on the peak of the mountaintop. He's at the mountaintop. I'll be great till I decide to walk away. And I'm the one you have to thank for every independent artist getting billboard plaques. I showed everybody how to beat the record labels and still I don't get no thanks. Everybody who been hating on me got me every little thing I'm doing. I mean, they dress like me, sign CDs. No one is buying their music. I'm the blueprint for these YouTube kids. Every single little view you get. Every time you get an iTunes check, you just imitate what I do best. I'm on Fox News. I'm on Rolling Stone in the New York Times on the radio. Got a billion views. Millie on the gram. You still paying to be verified, man. I am the reason that Billboard removed all the digital sales charts off their website. I was outperforming label artists and executives pressured them to hit the red light. Universal, yep, Warner Music, did. Sony, CEOs wanted me dead, but they ain't never gonna really kill me. They just canceled the digital charts instead. Stop telling me that anyone else is bigger than I am. Go get the Nielsen sound scan numbers. Tell me what you find, man. Who's the biggest I am? They're angry that I love America. Guess it's a problem because I'm Canadian. I live in the States. I gave 200 grand to the veterans. I am a patriot. I am a fake in this. I don't he addressed it. He addressed the biggest thing that people always bring up is like, dude, he's from Canada. We're all from a different fucking country. You know that we're all immigrants. If you just trace our lineage, this country's only 200 years old. You know that? A little over 200 years old. It just, it baffles me. Like, yeah, he's from Canada. My family's from Ireland. You know what I'm saying? Like, my girl's from Mexico. Like, we're all fucking immigrants. He pays his bill. He just said, I just put up money for the veterans. What the fuck are you doing? Canadian. I live in the States. I gave 200 grand to the veterans. I am a patriot. I am a faking this. I don't need to keep on making hits. Could have retired three years ago, basically. Go check my bank account, buddy. I'm crazy rich. I don't need money. I rap because I'm made for this. I am only doing this because I love it. I told every record label they can shove it. Rappers hate on me, but I'm above it. 93 Shawn Michaels, everyone can suck it. They want photos <laughs> when they see me out in public. Then they trash me in the comments. What a bummer. I sign autographs and spill my guts and stomach. All I get is people praying that I'll plummet. I came a long way. Dreamt it this all day. I should have saw graves, but God saves. I got faith. What a loser. I needed boost to maneuver. Bottles of hooch in the cooler. Now I'm the proof that you can choose to be a trooper and regroup and pursue a future be a ruler. Screw all the rumors. That all the dudes who be acting stupid on computers. Hate is a fuel that humans can use to improve themselves if they don't let their wounds ruin they move it. You can do it and then you can lose it. You can choose to view it through some different pupils. You can shoot for the moon if you miss it, recoup it, and then execute it so you make it through it. There ain't no excuses. The rules are confusing. So break it and use them to find the solution. The truth is you're losing till you are immune and you turn your I've been addicted to plenty of pills, poor and mentally ill. If I can do it, you can do it. I went from homeless and drunk to turning down record deals. I've got so many wins that I forget the wins. So many plaques inside the crib, they're getting hard to live. They so Beat switch. I ain't them. They got, I ain't them. They got money, they got pennies, they got dollars, but they ain't been making any sense. They got hundreds, they got. <laughs> we got a Nova appearance. Let's go. I was gonna say feature, but I liked it. I like the dog like sleeping in the corner. I gotta break this down. We're bringing this back, dude. There's way too much to address here, man. It's like he took everyone's fuck shit and put it all in one song to just say this. Look at where I am today. Keep bitching. Keep talking. I ain't them. They got money, they got pennies, they got dollars, but they ain't been making any sense. They got hundreds, they got thousands, I got 10, 11, 15, 20 something names. But this ain't always what my life was like. 
Honestly, it still give me chills. Way before all of my viral songs. Before I was living in Beverly Hills. Way before I went and sobered up. Back when me and Brandon couldn't pay the bills. Way back when I should have been locked up. Overdosed or getting killed. My sister called me from the hospital. Said her job's killing her and that was a fact. She working overtime often. Out of options. Having panic attacks. Didn't let her finish talking. Told her walk in and to quit and call back. Next thing I know she's in California and she's working for Hangover Gang. And daddy always told me I was special and one day I would conquer the music business. And I guess he was right, cause look at my life I just bought him a new Porsche for Christmas And mama worked harder than any woman on earth Her boss would have never have fired her I recognize they weren't giving her what she was worth So I retired her This ain't white privilege, this ain't trust fund this ain't That's the biggest flex right there I'm getting, They got hangover game gang messages coming from Discord That is the biggest flex right there You can talk about all the millions and all the plaques and all that shit But once you take care of your family to that level you know you have provided generational wealth and security for your bloodline. That's a whole different level of success. Recognized they weren't giving her what she was worth, so I retired her. This ain't white privilege, this ain't trust fund, this ain't good luck, this ain't silver spoon, this is hard work, this is long nights, this is all me, this is what I do, this is palm trees and Ferraris and a calm breeze and a pretty view. If you don't believe I deserve it, then you never lived the life I did and you wouldn't make it through. I came out of the city where I still don't get no respect. I moved away and I blew up and everyone else is so stuck in the town that I left. I'm not impressed. And they've been saying my video views are all fake and I honestly hope it helps get them some rest. I'm worth like 30 million mother dollars. All you bums are living check to check. Now everybody is an enemy. They all jealous that I'm a celebrity. Well, screw them. Screw the government. Screw the record label. Screw the mainstream. I mean... Am I tripping? Did he just say earlier that he was worth 10 to 15 mil and now he's 30? I just want to make sure I'm getting everything right. Unless he, there's probably a bar I missed. I'll go back. Said I'm a celebrity. Well, screw them. Screw the government. Screw the record label. Screw the mainstream. I'm in God mode. They in peace mode. We are not the same. We ain't equals. And I pray to God that you can deep throat. Got 11 inches for you weak hoes. Y'all cannot critique me. Y'all ain't in my league still. All your hate completes me. I can't be killed. Y'all just want to be me. Maybe be chill. Leave them bleeding in a wheat field. All my missiles heat seek. You can beat me. Homie, keep still. I can tell that you don't eat meat, ton of green beans, you a vegan when the beef's real. Everybody's saying I'm fake, but they're the ones who really faking though, and their song's all on YouTube, well my song's on the radio. They claim they hate fame, but they change when they need streams, then they say names and play games and take game and hate on me. Wait, I got one more thing I gotta say. I don't need any more money. These days I just do it for all of my fans. I pray to God I inspire somebody or show someone who thinks they can't that they can. I'ma keep going till I'm in the coffin. I promise no stopping till I kick the can. To the day that they're dropping my box in the ground, it's hangover gang. Dope. <laughs> that was dope. I like at the end how he flipped it. So after getting all that shit, this is therapy for an artist, right? After getting all this shit off of his chest, what does he do? He says, look. At the end of the day, yeah, I'm firing back. If you had an opinion on me, well, here's my opinion on you. How about you shut the fuck up and let me move the way that I move? Because I'm not, wor I'm not worried about how you move. But at the end of the day, my biggest takeaway is I retired my family. I hope I inspire some of you. But earlier he was saying, like, I gave you the blueprint to become successful as an independent artist. You could have at least given me a thank you. No one said you want to hate on me and then go to the same music that I do. I've been saying for a long time, if, if, if people want to like go, dude, I'm telling you, going independent is the way to go today. And I'm going to talk more about these record labels and stuff when he's talking about with SME, UMG, shit like that, Universal Music Group, Sony Music Entertainment. Uh, I have relationships with them as well. I will talk about that a little bit here, but look, I'm going to see something. Shout out to the whole family, the whole crew, the whole clique, and the pups. Where's the, where's the where, where, where's the big old where's the big old the big old brown black guy where, where, where where's the big old fatty where's the fatty that was laying on the ground he was laying there while Tom was rapping just like yeah I've heard this before he's good all right bring this back now it's a long song guys so if you don't want to stick around for the breakdown I totally get it I kind of said a few things here you might hear me repeat it but this this song deserves to be broken down. It deserves a double like. I wish I could double like this shit. This is the hardest I've seen Tom go in a while. And he's addressing all the bullshit that has been accumulating over the last few years. A couple of years. I would say like the last two or three years. Since I've been on this platform. 
that's basically what I see here is him addressing all the bullshit. And I think he addressed it in the right way. But let me just make sure that I'm hearing everything correctly. Proper breakdown. Go like, go subscribe. Should love to Tom McDonald, of course. And uh, it helps me out when you subscribe and comment. The algorithm, YouTube, it's a bitch. He knows that. If anyone's the king of fucking algorithms, it's Tom McDonald. I've always said that he's a genius. And he comes back like, oh, I'm not a genius. And I'm like, I know what you're doing. You're trying to play chess. Well, I'm playing chess. Well, I'm moving my bishop. What's your next move? <laughs> no, t- Tom's smart, dude. He's a very smart dude. And you can't knock somebody for fucking taking care of their family. At the end of the day, that's all that really matters to them anyway. Any of us, we're just on the other side of the screen. Or a keyboard. You know, it's the people that are closest to you. And he took care of them. So I, wa- I want to break down some of these bars. Though. There were some things he said. There's a lot of things at face value, but there's some things he said in there that were very sneaky. Let's go bring it back. You got to go now. I love you. Take care. I'm always here for you. All my socials linked down below. Let's go. Boring. Tell him I'm so- I've been hearing that they think my political music is boring. I heard it as well. I've heard people saying that shit. But, I mean, he- he- it's not that... He has to shed light on, light on it. Who else is going to do it with this big of a platform? Not many. Tell him I'm sorry. I've been rapping about things that I feel are important. I can talk about how rich I am, all these little rappers that I'm bigger than. I could show you the impact addiction had, how the liquor turned me to a different man. I'm not- and then for the rest of the song, what does he do? He keeps making callbacks to this. The kid who was visiting Disneyland. I'm not a perfect Christian, have a sinner's past, but I sobered up, prescriptions hit the trash. Now I'm sitting back with 50 billboard plaques, 20 million dollars, and a million fans. Middle fingers flipping. All right, see, this is where I'm getting confused. 20 million dollars and how many million fans? Hit the trash. Now I'm sitting back with 50 billboard plaques, 20 million dollars, and a million fans. Middle and a million fans. He's definitely got more than a million fans. No fingers flipping. I can't flip them back. I'm so independent. So they get the message. I've been spitting facts. I'm not a fiction fan. I am the truth. I am the goat. I am the proof. You can reach every one of your goals. You can be too drunk, way too high, but it's never too late to have hope. I am the one. I, I like that too. You can be drunk. You can be high. But listen, you can also sober the fuck up and get your life together. I, I'm also proof of that as well. I've been down the same road. I won't say the same road as Tom. All of our roads are different. But... I was addicted to damn near everything that you could think of besides needles. Anything with needles? No. I'm going to preach. You can reach every one of your dreams. You can. Hold on. He mentioned sinners past earlier, then he also goes into preach here. I am the proof. You can reach every one of your goals. You can be too drunk, way too high, but it's never too late to have hope. I am the one. I'm going to preach. You can reach every one of your dreams. You can be up against the whole entire world, and you can beat them if you just believe. Yep. They've been saying I'm Illuminati and I'm going to hell. Desperate- I've been seeing that too. Oh, Tom sold his soul. He's Illuminati now because he's he's on uh, TV stations and he's talking about his music. No, dude has just gotten so popular on YouTube and has touched on political points on both sides of the aisle. This whole time, everyone's like, oh, Tom's right wing. And he came back like, dude, I'm on the fucking fence. What I've been saying this whole time, and people come attacking me like, well, if you stand for nothing, if you stand, if you don't stand for anything, you fall for everything. I'm like, I didn't say I'm, st- I'm standing in the middle. I'm standing for something. I'm standing for the bullshit on both sides. I want to see what the fuck is real. I want to see my fucking president, my Congress people, people who take care of me or are supposed to work for me, go on three hour podcasts and be them fucking selves instead of reading off a teleprompter or falling down a staircase or jumbling some words up really searching for any excuse to explain why i've done what they can't do themselves the only way they can make sense of my famous claim i worship satan and labels of help i don't have an advantage it's natural talent your ego is damaged admit that you failed it's not natural talent either i i know what he's saying is natural talent he does have that it's the hard work he's been in this game for over a decade when you've been mixing and bouncing down tracks and making music videos and putting that work in it pays off Perfect example. I'm just not saying this is the best fucking channel in the world. Go watch my first fucking YouTube video. It's still posted. I still keep it up so you guys can see how I started. I was a totally different fucking person. And now you can see a channel that has grown. It's the same thing with music. Yeah, When I was rapping at 15, 16, 17 years old, it was nothing compared to when I was 27. You know what I'm saying? It was two totally different people. Satan and labels of help. I don't have an advantage. It's natural talent. Your ego was damaged. Admit that you failed. I remember back when I was- <laughs> Your ego was damaged. Admit that you failed. So all you people talking shit, you're just upset. It's self-reflection. You're, you're pissed off because I became successful. It's the only political rapper. What the hell happened? All of a sudden, everyone who never gave a damn got political and started rapping. Tragic. I should be flat. 
Okay. <laughs> he said tragic. That's one thing, too. Yeah, this is going to be pausing. Now I'm breaking shit down. And this is what happens, too, with reaction channels is... That was a weird noise from my throat. Water went down the wrong pipe. Sorry there. Pause. Um, reaction channels, what they'll do is that when their videos aren't getting enough views, which I really don't give a fuck about, they'll start leaning into um, controversial topics or pol pop, uh, politics mostly. And then they go full-blown politics because they see that that's what brings the views in. But guess what? YouTube don't play that shit. If you lean too far one way or you start, like, reposting some, like, clips, they're going to fucking pull your channel down. It's happened to tons of channels. You all know this. Rapping. All of a sudden, everyone who never gave a damn got political and started rapping. Tragic. I should be flattered. Man, I created the genre. They practically jacked it. Acting like they're in the conversation. They ain't nowhere near it on a different planet. This is not YouTube. This is upper echelon. President of Sony on my telephone. I get what I want, how I want, when I want, until the day that I'm dead and gone. The so he's saying the president of Sony. Now, he's, he's, he's saying Sony Music Entertainment. He's on the phone with the president of Sony Music Entertainment. So maybe he does have a few connections within the industry, but it doesn't mean that he's a signed artist. But they might be able to put him in touch with some people, some perks and benefits to being as big as you are as an independent artist. Because, because of course, their main goal is to recruit eventually. But what Tom's probably doing is just probably has a good relationship with somebody and you know uses the opportunities that he's given to uh advance his career wouldn't we all Sony on my telephone I get what I want how I want when I want until the day that I'm dead and gone the internet in love with beef they want rappers at war but I don't care who's coming at me I swore that I wouldn't do this no more the last time I battled the man that I trampled lost his career and then had a divorce that wasn't fair homie got torched I feel the weight like I'm carrying around a corpse the that was one of the hardest bars of this whole thing, dude. He's talking about Mac Lethal, if I'm not mistaken, dude. He's saying, like, look, I'm not doing beefs no more. The last time I got into a beef, it was so fucking bad that, one, I murdered his career. Two, he ended up getting a divorce. And now it feels like I'm fucking carrying his corpse everywhere that I go. It's dead weight. I can't deal with that anymore. I'm not going to ruin somebody else's career. And had a divorce. That wasn't fair. Homie got torched. I feel the weight like I'm carrying around a corpse. Still no deal. Still no team. Still just little old me. Still making fun of the whole industry. Still rap on my own beats. I'm I like that. Still rapping my own beats. Now, you can see right here, it's all the tracks being bounced down. So from the top, vocals, and then you can see all the ad-libs being thrown in. Well, I mean, instrumental, uh, the beats, then you can see everything else from the vocals being laid to the ad-libs here. And anything else, they might have added, like, little pianos, violins, sprinkled in some extra production. But this is him showing you his setup. This is where he records his music. I mean... It's similar to how my setup is in the back. I still have my laptop open right now. But yeah, I mean, we almost have the same exact. If you look at our mics, we damn near have the same fucking mic. It's the same. You can't see it because it's blurry as shit, but it's right there. It's the same thing. We got like the same pop filter and everything. You can, you can record music at home and, and do very well for yourself. It's just, are you able to break through and appeal to the masses and pick a target audience, which he has done? I'm the only multimillionaire in my family tree. I keep hearing rumors that my parents rich and that's how I got in the lead. That's a big L-I-E. If you want to know the truth, I guess. I can show you why I move like this. Let me take you back into my head. Tell you about the movie I live. Former alcoholic, nothing in my wallet. Every doctor said that I was depressed. Should be in a coffin or inside a cardboard box and addicted to meth. Yeah, he's basically, you already, he's saying it right there. It's at face value. I shouldn't be alive today. But what did he say in the beginning? Okay. You want me to talk about this shit? I'll talk about it. So he's going to give you the whole story. I was sleeping on my best friend's couch. I was dreaming of a West End house. We was living in the basement, sweet east side, praying we'd get out. Motorcycles on the front lawn, bunch of crackheads in the alley. Open up my bedroom window and tell them there's empty bottles they can have. Cops at the door. I couldn't sleep. Making up noodles to eat for a week. I couldn't stomach the food I was making if I was in high so I always had weed. He said, I couldn't stomach the food I was making, dude. He was just saying, like, I couldn't even eat this shit. Like, I couldn't stomach the position I was in. I couldn't even eat that food, but I had to. I had no choice. Then he even talked about when he was uh, basically going, you know, to the churches and getting, uh, what was it, eggs and juice? Is that what he said? I noodles to eat for a week. I couldn't stomach the food I was making. If I was in high school, I always had weed. Leaving the crib and the neighbors are tripping. I flip them the bird. I ain't stopping to talk. They leaving us notes on the passenger window because we always park in the whip and they spot. Ten in 
the morning, we sip in our 40s and take in the honey, sipping up the black. Hey, at least you got notes. You know what they do here in Chicago? They bash your fucking windows. <laughs> you, if you park in someone's spot, you're getting towed or your shit's getting bashed the fuck in. More than likely getting fucking stolen, actually. Yeah. Always parking the whip in a spot. Ten in the morning, we sipping our forties and taking the hundred sipping up the block. Looking for one of my homies who living on the street cause he got addicted to rocks. Waiting in line at church, they giving out food. I would pull up every second Sunday, get some hard boiled eggs and juice. That was yeah, hard boiled eggs and juice. Just the move. I was a broke boy, then I blew up. I was suicidal, yeah, the mood sucked. Now I've been rich, I done made hits, I've been praying, I don't screw it up. And now that I've blown up, they're mad that I've grown up. They missing my old stuff. They say my political music's all sounding the same and the flow suck. I'm I like that. So you hear a little eerie. Uh, uh, uh. And he's just looking around. Like admiring everything, like just vicious. Up, uh, they missing my old stuff. They say my political music's all sounding the same, and the flow suck. I'm never gonna be the old Tom or recapture the magic of old songs. I don't know, Tom. You the goat, Tom. Give me what I want, or I will go, Tom. Shut up. Yeah, that's one of the most annoying things too. Is when somebody's just like, yo, like if you don't react to this, you don't do this, and I'm gonna go. It's like, dude, this is not a fucking airport. You don't have to announce your departure. Just fucking leave then. It's like the weirdest thing ever, man. Uh, and to be an artist and people pushing you to make music one way, he's like, dude, I can't go back to who I was. That's not who I am anymore. You want this, but I can't give you that because it doesn't exist anymore, man. They want the people get selfish with artists. Well, music's all sounding the same and the flow suck. I'm never gonna be the old Tom or recapture the magic of old oh, songs. Man. I don't know, Tom. You the goat, Tom. Give me what I want or I will go, Tom. Shut up! I'm not the guy that you fell in love with back when I was young and dumb. Always getting drunk, taking hella drugs, living in the ghetto, no food for a month. Couldn't pay the power bill, the shower filled with towels, mold, and hella bugs. That was the old time. That was broke time. Stop saying you miss who I was. Now you can give me all the Gucci, give me all the Louis, give me everything I want at once. Give me Lamborghinis, give me all my flowers, give you everything I have just to be loved. Now they call me racist and they say I'm canceled, but I guarantee you that there will be blood. I ain't going nowhere, I ain't stopping nothing. I'ma really go there, I don't give a... I'm a... I also like how he just said, like, look, and then once I'm famous, all of a sudden people want to give me a bunch of free shit. That's how it is. Once you're rich and famous, then all of a sudden people want to just give you everything to be on your good side. See you that there will be blood. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't stopping nothing. I'm a really go there. I don't give a... I'm the best thing going right now. They can't mess with me. I've been up, I've been down. I climbed out my grave. I'll be great. Wait. Before today and I'll be great till I decide to you have to thank for every independent artist getting billboard plaques i showed everybody how to beat the record labels and still i don't get no thanks everybody who been hating on me got these every little thing i'm doing i mean they dress like me sign cds no one is buying their music on the blueprint for this youtube who is he talking about specifically if somebody could comment down below that would be helpful but see i i would say him and joiner lucas would be two of the biggest independent artists if we're talking like actual numbers it would have to be uh, 4.5 million three subscribers, right? Boy, Jordan Lucas has also been doing this just about as long. 5.92. So they're both near each other. So that and, and to be next to Joiner Lucas, but him being like fully independent. And only really working with independent artists. I mean, he's had some features with some big name people, but no, most mostly just all from streams, which he gets into here in a second. On the blueprint for these YouTube kids, every single little view you get, every time you get an iTunes check, you just imitate what I do best. I'm on Fox News, I'm on Rolling Stone, in the New York Times, on the radio, got a billion views, Millie on the gram. You still paying to be verified, man? I am the reason that Bill. <laughs> You're still paying to be verified. And they always ask me, you want to be verified? I'm like, no, I want that fucking shit verified. What the fuck? Ah, I got the little poop emoji right here. I didn't even see it at the fucking, uh, what do you say, at the podium. Radio got a billion views, Millie on the ground. In other words, so many shit. I am the reason that Billboard removed all the digital sales charts off their website. I was outperforming label artists and executives pressured them to hit the red light. You know. Which he did. And then they would not give him number one spots. They would, people with less views, they would get number one spots over him. He would have to fucking fight and hop on the phone. Be like, no, 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 no. I can see this shit. It, it's, you can see it's public record. 
Like, come on, man. What the fuck are you doing? You're fucking me here. They fucked him over so many times, man. Sales charts up the website. I was outperforming label artists and executives pressured them to hit the red light. Universal, Warner Music, Sony, CEOs wanted me dead, but they ain't never gonna really kill me. They just canceled the digital charts instead. Stop telling me that <laughs> anyone else is bigger than I am. Go get the Nielsen sound scan numbers. Tell me what you find, man. Who's the biggest I am? They're angry that I love America. Guess it's a problem because I'm Canadian. I live in the States. I gave 200 grand to the veterans. I am a patriot. I am a faking this. I don't need to keep on making it. Could have retired three years ago, basically. Go Check my bank account, buddy. I'm crazy rich. I don't need money. I rap because I'm made for this. I am only doing this because I love it. I told every record label they can shove it. Rappers hate on me, but I'm above it. 93 Shawn Michaels, everyone can suck it. 93 Shawn Michaels. <laughs> that was the way I told them they could suck it. Bringing it back to uh, NWO. Well, let me see something really quick. Now, now, now I'm really intrigued. So he's talking about how he has the most views out of any artist. All right. Joyner Lucas has 2.4 billion he also has i'm not a racist and a lot of big hits i'm not saying tom i don't want to pull away from the video shit hold up this is where i do a little bit of research we we, we, we gotta we gotta we gotta do a little bit of research here just to make sure fact check not saying he's wrong it's a little bit different too because uh joiner lucas has had huge features like eminem you know what I'm saying? It's a little bit different. Yeah, he's got 1.5 billion views. 1.5 billion views by himself. That's without having an Eminem. They want photos when they see me out in public. Then they trash me in the comments. What a bummer. I sign autographs to spill my guts and stomach. All I get is people praying that I'll plummet. I came a long way. Dreamt it this all day. I should have saw graves, but God saves. I got faith. What a loser. I needed boost to maneuver. Bottle I like that. So saw graves. He went he went all the way back to the whole preacher um, going to church scheme. So, of course, he keeps having these callbacks. It's all callbacks. Everything's a callback. Even a callback to his former self, which he cannot be anymore. I should have saw graves, but God saves. I got faith. What a loser. I needed boost to maneuver. Bottles of hooch in the cooler. Now I'm the proof that you can choose to be a trooper and recruit and pursue a future be a ruler. Screw all the rumors. That all the dudes will be acting stupid on computers. Hey so remember this. He said ruler right here. Then what did he say about 11 inches later? So it's a bunch of fucking callbacks. It's genius. Recruit and pursue a future be a ruler. Screw all the rumors. That all the dudes will be acting stupid on computers. Hate is a fuel that humans can use to improve themselves if they don't let their wounds ruin they move me. You can do it and then you can lose it. You can choose to view it through some different pupils. You can shoot for the moon if you miss it. Recoup it and then execute it so you make it through it. There ain't no excuses. The rules are confusing. So break it and use them to find the solution. The truth is you're losing till you are immune and you turn the abuse into your evolution. I've been... Turn the abuse into, in, in, into your evolution. So take all the negatives. You could turn it into a positive. You got to know how to harness all that energy. Black out the bad. Name that movie. But no, he, he's right. If you take all that hate and you just don't victimize yourself, you could become great. Bigger than you thought you ever could be in anything or master anything that you want. Addicted to plenty of pills, poor and mentally ill. If I can do it, you can do it. I went from homeless and drunk to turning down record deals. I've got so many wins that I forget the wins. So there's there's the big pup right there, the big guy with the tennis ball. So many plaques inside the crib, they're getting hard to live. They so jealous, I'm just glad that I ain't them. They got, I ain't them. They got money, they got pennies, they got dollars, but they ain't been making any sense. They got hundreds, they got. They got plenty of dollars, but they ain't making any sense. They're not making any money. I like yeah. them. They got oh, money. God, they got sure. pennies. They got dollars, but they ain't been making any sense. They got hundreds. They got thousands. I got 10, 11, 15, 20 something names. But this ain't not. All right. So second time he said 20 million. Okay. So he's got 20 mil. It's what my life was like. Honestly, it still give me chills. Way before all of my viral songs. Before I was living in Beverly Hills. Way before I went and sobered up. Back when me and Brandon couldn't pay the bills. Way back when I should have been locked up. Overdosed or getting killed. My sister called me from the hospital. How about Brad and Art right there? Little said her job's killing her, and that was a fact. She working overtime often, out of options, having panic attacks. Didn't let her finish talking, told her walk in, and to quit and call back. Next thing I know, she's in California, and she's working for Hangover Gang. And Daddy always told me I was special, and one day 
I would conquer the music business, and I guess he was right, because look at my life. I just bought him a new Porsche for Christmas, and Mama worked harder than any woman on earth. Her boss would have never have fired her. I recognized they weren't giving her what she was worth, so I retired her. This ain't white privilege. This ain't trust fund. This ain't good luck. This ain't silver spoon. This is hard work. This is long nights. This is all me. This is what I do. This is palm trees and Ferraris and a calm breeze and a pretty view. If you don't believe I deserve it, then you never lived the life I did, and you wouldn't make it through. I came out of city where I still don't get no respect. Oh, so nasty. He's saying, like, dude, you don't understand, man. Like, I was literally on death's doorstep. But I said, no, fuck that. I didn't knock. I turned around and I decided to pick up the pieces of myself and rebuild myself into who I am today. So fuck you for hating. I moved away and I blew up and everyone else is so stuck in the town that I left. I'm not impressed. And they've been saying my video views are all fake and I honestly hope it helps get them some rest. I'm worth like 30 million mother dollars. All you bums are living check to check. That's where I was getting confused because now it's just $30 million. That's so it's at 5, 10, 15, 20. Then it was 20 in the beginning. Now it's 30 million. Either way, it doesn't matter. He's very successful. Honestly, hope it helps get him some rest. I'm worth like 30 million mother dollars. All you bums are living check to check. Now everybody is an enemy. They all jealous that I'm a celebrity. Well, screw them. Screw the government. Screw the record label. Screw the mainstream. I'm in God mode. They in beast mode. We are not the same. We ain't equals. And I pray to God that you can deep throw. Got 11 inches for you weak hoes. Yeah. <laughs> but he said i'm in god mode they're in beast mode who is that a shout who is that a shot at he's taking shots at people man and it's not just like individuals either it, it, it's corporations it, it, it's everything it's everything that has to do with the music industry as well and i pray to god that you can deep throw got 11 inches for you weak hoes another pray to god reference so of course Religious scheme coming off of the churches and stuff. Y'all cannot critique me. Y'all ain't in my league still. All your hate completes me. I can't be killed. Y'all just want to be me. Maybe be chill. Leave them bleeding in a wheat field. All my missiles heat seek. You can beat me. Homie, keep still. I can tell that you don't eat meat. Ton of green beans. You a vegan when the beef's real. Everybody's saying I'm fake, but they're the ones who really faking though. And their songs all on YouTube. Well, my songs on the radio. They claim they hate fame, but they change when they need streams. Then they say names and play games and take games. And hate on me yeah see that's a major call out it's real everybody's saying i'm fake but they're the ones who really faking though and their songs all on youtube well my songs on the radio they claim they hate fame but they change when they need streams then they say names and play games and take game and hate on me yeah we can name a few artists that have recently been taking aim at tom mcdonald Wait, I got one more thing I gotta say. This is a cool I don't need any up. more money. These days I just do it for all of my fans. I pray to God I inspire somebody or show someone who thinks they can't that they can. I'ma keep going till I'm in the coffin. I promise no stopping till I kick the can. To the day that they're dropping my box in the ground, it's hang over gang. <laughs> That's dope. That was dope. We got in with a picture of the family. All right. I mean, look, a lot of this is at face value. This is a big, I love you, hangover gang, but fuck you to the haters. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but go ahead, keep running your mouth because you're running my numbers up. <laughs> that, that's really what it comes down to. I respect it. He even, he, he addressed a lot of things people were saying that he just did not talk about for a while. He was too focused. And that's one thing too, man. Sometimes an artist is focused on concepts or working on concept albums. He was working on a bunch of concept albums. You're not going to distract yourself from that. If you start, when you're working on a concept album, you're focused on one target audience. You're focused on one topic mainly, right? Or topics around that. Um, what, there's no reason to step out of that because it's going to take you off your game. You're going to miss a step and you could fuck up and you could make a track that has nothing to do with what you're working on. And it just the whole project just melts. It doesn't sound right. Now he has the time. He said, I have time today. I chose violence. You guys want to talk this shit? Well, I'm going God mode on you. I'm, I'm going to fucking tell you how I think now, how I feel after all this time while I've been putting in the work. And no matter what I do, you're still going to tune in to listen. So while you keep on saying, hey, all my streams are bought, this, this, and that, go ahead. I hope you sleep well at night because I'm sleeping fucking fine and dandy. Go ahead. Lose some sleep. All my streams are legit. He said motherfuckers shut their own websites down because they couldn't stomach the fact that they had a fucking rapper on YouTube that was blowing them out of the water. Oh, yeah, he flexed on everybody, man. 
And I know you did some push-ups in between sets. Don't you lie to me, Tom. I know you did. <laughs> Just kidding, man. Um, everyone, please show love to everybody at Hangover Gang. Tom McDonald, him and his family. It's very dope what he has going on here. And, um, yeah, it, 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 it's a long song, but a good song. You could tell that he had a lot of shit to get off his chest, and I hope he feels accomplished with getting all the stuff off of his chest, and I can't wait to see what's next. But right now, let's just enjoy God mode. It's well worth it. Long video. I love you guys. Thanks for watching with me. If you made it through the uh, breakdown, you OG, triple OG. Uh, subscribe. I love you. Stay safe. Show love to Tom and over Rockefeller. I'll link their information down below. But yeah, man, th this was dope. I, I have an idea of a few people he was just, uh, it's not even taking shots. It's just like acknowledging like, hey, I see you. I see you talking shit. But honestly, I don't have time for you. I've moved on. The last person that I fucking battled, like, I ruined their fucking life. I'm not doing that to another human being. I'm not carrying another, to I'm not carrying another corpse. I rap now at this point for fun. When I want to make music is whenever I'll fucking make music. When I don't, I don't. And while I'm here, nobody's standing up to me. No, nobody's going to be able to compete with me. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot, man. Dope track. Um... Tom McDonald, God Mode, go like, go subscribe. I'll link everything down below for you to make it easy. If you ever need me, like I said, reach out. All my socials, link down below. If you're ever going through a tough time, um, mainly like, you know, uh, addiction, stuff like that, anxiety problems, I'm always here for you guys. I'm no doctor. I can't solve all your issues, but I'm always here as a friend. I love you guys. Be safe. And again, show love to Tom. It's the most important part of this video. And the whole team, Nova and everything. I'll link it down below. All right, I got to get going. Um, been a long day and I'm sorry I'm late, but better late than ever, right? Appreciate you guys. Play, uh, play safe. What the fuck? All right, I'm going to sleep. I love you. Be safe.